You fuck with Big Better, you get straight. You know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck he said. Big Blue told me something I can't hear. You already know what the fuck time it is. Turn out and tune in. What's good? What's good, everybody? Um, Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Um, it's your motherfucking boy, Big Bad A. This is the Real Talk Real Shit Podcast. Um, Today, hold on. Waiting all day for that. Well, I've been waiting all day for that. All right. Okay. Um, let me hit my coffee. Hmm. All right, we ready. Okay. Today's topic extremely important. Extremely important. Um, I gotta break something down for y'all because I don't think y'all catching on to what the fuck. I don't think y'all really catching on. All right, now, today we're going to be talking about the Nipsey Hussle thing. Uh, not the thing. Fuck that why I said. Excuse my language. Uh, we're going to be talking about Nipsey Hussle situation. The uh, disrespect thing with um, Kodak disrespecting and future disrespecting. And uh, we're going to talk about that whole situation, okay? Because I, I don't think I need y'all to understand something. All right, now, I don't give a fuck about no conspiracy shit. I don't, I'm not talking about no conspiracy. I don't care about no what ifs. I only deal in what is. I don't, I don't deal too much dealing uh, probabilities and all that. Ain't no time for that. You can only deal with the present and the reality. All right, so with this situation, what's really going on, for one, Nipsey Hussle was murdered. About like five or six days ago. He was murdered, okay? That's a fact. It don't matter why he was murdered or it don't matter how he was killed. He's dead. He's he's gone, right? That's a fact. Another fact. When he died, it was shedding light on the things that he was doing before his death. That's another fact. That's a fact, right? So he died and it brought light. It shed light to what he was doing before his death i.e. running businesses, um, doing positive things for his community, for his people in his community, and most importantly, putting out, trying to put out or about to release that uh, documentary on Dr. Sebi, okay? Now, um, conspiracy all you want. When he died, it brought it shed light to that Sebi situation. It's, it shed light to Dr. Sebi for all millions of people who did never heard about him, okay? If for people who don't know who Dr. Sebi is, look him up. Dr. S E B I. Look him up. Um, Dr. Sebi was was a was one of one of the great leaders we had in our time living. I mean, this man cured people of ailments that were supposedly uncurable. He done things that were almost, according to the government, undoable. Okay, like cure people of AIDS, HIV and AIDS. He cured people of AIDS. Um, I think it was 13 people or something. Long story short, Nipsey died and shed light on Dr. Sebi. It was bringing millions of people, or if not hundreds of thousands of people, to the realities and um, the characteristics of Dr. Sebi and Nipsey Hussle and, and the positive things that they were doing, okay? A few days had passed. A few days passed. People was... I, I, I got people in my life... Um, in my, not in my life, but in, in my path, there's people in my path who've been, since this Nipsey Hussle murder, they've been trying to eat healthier. They've been trying to, because they got exposed to Dr. Sebi. They've uh, trying to do better because they, they're, you know, starting to learn. You know, once you know better, you can do better. So with that being said, you got common folks waking up to the realities of the world, right, of this situation. And guess what? They don't want nobody to fucking wake up. That's why they killed Nip. That's why they knocked Nip off. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want nobody to fucking wake up. Even Nip said if it's himself, if something happens to me, y'all better ride. You know what I'm saying? He said that shit out of his own fucking mouth in that uh, interview where they were talking about the Dr. Sebi interview, uh, documentary. So don't, 
And for that fuck nigga, uh, young Pharaoh, you fuck nigga. Because it's one thing to discredit a, a wacky conspiracy theorist. It's one thing to discredit somebody who's coming from left field on some far tangent shit. But you a fuck nigga, bro. You talking about uh, don't nobody stop talking about this situation, let it be, and all that. Nigga, fuck you, bro. Talking about his family said um, it was a conspiracy and all that. If his family did say that, that ain't got nothing to do with nobody, bro, because what Nip told us to do, if something happens, he said ride for him. So what the fuck we supposed to do, bro, is ride for him. We supposed to listen to the words out of his mouth, out the horse's mouth, bro. So all that young pharaoh shit, you pussy ass nigga, you sound like a fed, bro. You sound like a fed, bro. They probably paid you off just like they paid his family off to tell people to say, oh, it wasn't a conspiracy, you guys. It was a street thing. You got murdered, this and that. It don't matter who the fuck murdered him or what. They've been, they been using Patsy since the beginning of time. John Wilkes Booth, uh, the nigga who uh, assassinated uh, Lincoln. Uh, I mean, the nigga who shot the uh, the um, Jack, the, the Kennedys. I mean, it's been it's been Patsy's forever. The movie the uh, the movie theater shooter that was a Patsy. My nigga, wake the fuck up. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing new under the sun, bro. They've been faking crimes and faking shit. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about them devils is, the devil is he ain't smart enough to outwit us. Because we we used to the shits. We used to the problems and troubles that he been giving us forever, that the devil's been giving. We used to the shit, bro. Your, your ways are too repetitive. You need to switch your fucking swag up, bro. Shit too easy to see through. You know what I mean? Uh, you keep hiring all these losers in the conscious community to dispel and discredit the right word. You get what I'm saying? So fuck all these young pharaohs. Fuck all these. Fuck all these YouTubers trying to uh, discredit something that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And um, we're gonna get to the Kodak Black thing. That is just a fucking distraction, y'all. Kodak Black is a fucking distraction to, to take your attention away from Dr. Sebi and Nipsey Hussle's positive direction in life. Um, that Kodak Black shit is a pure distraction. For one, Kodak Black is a coon-ass, picking any ass nigga. He has, his, his words have no relevance. His words have no weight. Only, and I'm not dis disrespecting the man, but I said he's coming from a, a, a nigga mentality. He's coming from a slave mentality. He can't think beyond the slave mentality. You know, the motherfucker, no matter how many millions of dollars you got, bro, you are the coon picking any nigga, bro. You the, you the Sambo. You the fucking uh, Jim Crow ass nigga, bro. And it's sad that it's people like you that get promoted in the world to do this to us. You know what I'm saying? They got you fighting with T.I. over the internet, via internet. T.I., another fed nigga. Another fed nigga, bro. Every time something going down, who talking? T.I. talking. What is this nigga, a fucking uh, politician? What is what is Tip? He's a gun-toting, uh, coke-selling-ass rapper, bro. Shut the fuck up, Tip. And I ain't disrespecting you either, bro. But I'm just being honest. Y'all need to stop talking. Y'all's dialogue is only distracting the people from the fucking re from the realities, bro. It's, it's distracting us. And then you got another fuck nigga, another fuck nigga, future. A fuck nigga, a pure fuck boy who ain't never did nothing for the black community but break us down. Molly Perk, Marley, Molly, 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 Molly. All you nigga perks and gasoline and perks. Lean and Molly perks. Perks, lean and Molly. Perk, 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 lean, lean, lean. Man, get your pussy ass out of here, bro. You got them talking about people like us comparing yourself to Nip. For one, you're still alive, and for one, and for two, you ain't doing nothing positive, my nigga. Shut the fuck up, bro. Stop trying to take credit for a real nigga's path. Stop trying to walk in a real motherfucker's shoes, bro. Y'all niggas is, is uh, delusional, bro. You coon-ass rappers are delusional, bro. And I'm black. I can call you motherfuckers coons and niggas, bro. I'm a black man. I can call you that, bro. Because a real black man ain't living that path, bro. You live in the coon. You walk in the coon's path, bro. You got them cooning and buffooning, bro. Both of y'all. Kodak and, and motherfucking future, bro. I ain't mad at Tip. Because Tip was speaking from the real man perspective. But Tip just 
just uh, causing confusion and diversion. We must wake up. We got to stop feeding into this. Get on Dr. Sebi. Look up Dr. Sebi, bro. Look up uh, Nipsey Hussle and, and look up. Don't listen to his music. Don't listen to the music. Fuck the music. I mean, that's that's one little thing, but it ain't about that. It's about the message. It's about the meaning. Look up what people was trying to do. Look up the positives. You know what I'm saying? Look up Dr. Sebi. Learn, study, grow, and develop. Because they, they only do shit like this to distract us. They do not care one bit about us. They only want us... This shit has got everybody's attention right now. And Nip just died five, eight, six days ago. Five, six days ago. You know what I'm saying? God bless the dead. God rest the dead. You know what I'm saying? And there's plenty of other people who are dying for this uh, positive cause. Not just Nipsey Hussle. He just had the name enough to got them promote. And he had the name enough, the legacy enough to live on after he was dead. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't have that... that uh, that power to, to leave a legacy, but for those who do, you know, you got to do something positive, man, but, man, Dr. Sebi, man, that's what this is about, they don't want you to see Sebi, they don't want you to know uh, that we can heal ourselves through herbs, they don't want you to know that a vegetarian diet is the way to, to spiritual awakeness, they don't want you to know how smart and intelligent you could be and how sick, free, and ill, ill, free you can be, like no illness, no sickness, just from the things that you eat. They don't want you to know that. They want you to keep smoking uh, cigarettes, keep drinking alcohol, keep snoring cocaine, keep shooting heroin, keep popping perks, keep taking downers and volume and this and addies and this and this and bogging yourself down so where your soul, your spiritual body is so cloudy that you can't function and receive the proper messages and, and react in the proper ways to function in this society and be a better better human being. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to live right. They want you to live wrong. They want you to be bogged down and so confused and clouded that they can just control your mind with simple thoughts and simple shit that they do like music and movies and bullshit. You know what I mean? Don't ever forget what the fuck going on. And don't ever forget Nip died to bring awareness for Dr. Sebi. And don't ever forget he died to goddamn make the world a better place. You know what I'm saying? Or when people die, you should learn from their mistakes. That's what I mean by that. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no reason that he should have died. That was a 33-year-old healthy black man. He should have not died by a fucking hands of a gun and a pussy-ass nigga. Who was probably used with voice and skull technology, which this is a, con a conspiracy, but I'm going to tell you motherfuckers this. The nigga shitty cuz who killed him got out of a psychiatric ward, released from a psychiatric ward a week or two weeks right before he killed Nip and then turned himself right back into the uh, psychiatric ward. That's government shit. What is the psychiatric ward? That's where they play with your mind. How do you get a, uh, somebody to do something? You give them a hallucinating drug? This is simple CIA shit. Look up, um, look up mind, uh, mind control, um, what do you call that shit? Monarchy, mind control, MK Ultra. Look it up. It's simple how they use, manipulate people's mind. They've been MK Ultra. It is nothing new. They call it voice and skull technology where they could, uh, from the satellites, pull, tell, put messages in your head. And control your mind with trigger words and stuff and program you to react when you get here certain trigger words and shit like apple juice. And you just, apple juice. And you just start committing the mission. Then once you forget, they'll be like, a hot apple juice. And you'll be like, oh, shit. What happened? Where am I at? Even the nigga shitty cuz got uh, John, uh, OJ Simpson's lawyers and he talking about he don't know what happened. He didn't do it. He talking about he swearing up and down he didn't do it. But then they got him making, uh, they got diss songs. Where he was dissing um, Nip and all that, bro. And it don't matter if it was like they had some street animosity. That's for the motherfucker that they would get to do this shit, bro. It's just the tie the loose ends, bro. This ain't, bro. Man, our government is so smart. They they dumb. They're so smart. They're dumb. You know what I mean? So don't never fucking fuck with the conspiracy shit I just said too. But the reality of it is, don't forget that he was connected to Sebi. Sebi Hill, Michael Jackson, Sebi Hill, Left Eye, uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Sebi was healing famous people. Michael Jackson was healed by this man. 
I mean, so there, this nigga, this black, this man, not fuck nigga, I'm skewing my language. This man killed people of AIDS, HIV, cancer. I mean, it, it, the list goes on, bro. And I'm going to tell you something, even about me. I had a blood clot at the age of 20, 24 or something like that. 23, 24, when I got my blood clot in my leg, they told me I was going to die by the time I was 25, bro. But my lifestyle so healthy, bro. I healed myself with garlic and, um... Garlic and onions and just living right and lemon juice and, and a lot of hot sauce and shit to thin my blood out on its own and break the blood clot and pass it. Bro, y'all better wake the fuck up. You can heal your own body. If your energy is right in your hands, you can put your hands over your body and heal yourself. You don't need nothing. Man, you, this, this body, the fact that you know that your body is all a uh, self healing thing when you get cut you get a scar and a scab on it bro and you scab and your scab peels off and it's a bandage we heal our bodies heal themselves this body is a god given bless blessing you know what i mean it's a god given blessing you tell me you get cut your arm get blown off that's why people get their hands cut off and they still feel like they have their hand and shit because there's nerves Man, this shit, it'll heal, you can heal yourself, bro. When you break a bone, you reset it back in, the bone connects back in, and it reconnects, but then it get a stronger bond and shit. Man, this body is self-healing, man. The only way it won't self-heal is if it's not balanced. And guess what? Most and majority of us out here is not balanced because you're not eating right, you're not drinking right, you're not thinking right, you're not sleeping right, you're not living right. And you know why you're not living right? Because you're not listening to the ways of the wise. You're watching the fucking Google. You're watching the internet. You're watching TV. What the fuck? I'm going to keep praying. And I'm going to keep staying down and doing this shit for y'all. I pray to God we keep growing and growing and growing. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to keep doing this shit. You know, um, it's just so many loopholes to this shit, bro. Like, like YouTube just made a new, a new rule. If you don't have a thousand subscribers, you can't even um do go live on YouTube no more. There's there, bro. This is Nazi Germany, my nigga. So just know that Nipsey Hussle died, so we can know about Dr. Sebi and, and we could change the world and we could do something about this shit and we could do something about this shit by giving his word and his works. You know what I'm saying? A life. You know what I'm saying? Because bro was live and kicking. You know what I mean? And the shit don't stop at him. There's so many people that died to do this, to make it better. But we don't do nothing about it. We just keep going. Just keep going. Same old bullshit. And believe in the media. Stop looking at distractions, man. See the distraction. You can see it if you really, really know what's going on, bro. Since this pussy ass nigga black been talking, nobody been talking about Sebi, bro. But just know, we're going to get it back on track, man. We're going to get it back on track. It's your motherfucking boy, Big Betty. This is the Real Talk, Real Shit Podcast. I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all for watching. Man, stop being distracted, though, y'all. Stop being distracted and wake the fuck up. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. And all his family, if you see this, I ain't one of these bunch of niggas trying to get clout and views off this shit. I really trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? Um... Ain't nobody watching my shit. My shit is humble and small, but it's taking off. You know what I'm saying? But I love y'all. Hold it down.